Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about the advantages of being a family life chaplain in the United States Army. Now I did a previous video about how I became a family life chaplain and I encourage you to watch it, to like it, subscribe to my channel, but I want to talk to you today about the advantages of being a family life chaplain in the United States Army as a United States Army chaplain. Now, number one is I'm a value added asset to my command, meaning that my commander, whether him or her, I'm a value added asset to them to minister to those people within the footprint, such as soldiers and their family members, DOD contractors, civilians, and even retirees. I'm available to minister to all sorts of people and also as an added value asset. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Once I went, the Army paid for my schooling to get a master's degree in counseling, and this is my utilization tour here in Germany. And then uh, I took the national exam, earned enough hours, got licensed to the great state of Texas. So that makes me an even value, more value added asset to my commander. And also I am a 100% confidential provider. And I'm not gonna tell anybody. It's between me, you, and the fence post, so to speak. Me, you, and God. Now it's much like if a Catholic parishioner were to go to their priest for a confessional, it's considered sacred communication. So too that I am, privileged and have complete confidentiality with my clients unless they sign a contract, a waiver, saying that I can, a release of information, that I can release it to whatever third party that they deem that they want me to release it to. That's just the only way. Now, therapists on the outside in the civilian sector have what's called a duty to warn. That duty to warn means that if there's harm itself, indications of harm itself to others, uh, or even abuse going on, such as child abuse, elder abuse, or even domestic abuse, that that therapist has an obligation to tell the authorities. Whereas I, as an Army chaplain, do not have that obligation. I am restricted to the 100% confidentiality, which poses some unique challenges as well when you come across hard situations like that. But as an Army chaplain and as a family life chaplain, I'm there to minister in different ways. And these different ways are modalities. Now, the different modalities that I'm trained and certified in are, number one, EMDR, eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing. I'm, in fact, I'm a member of Andrea, which is the EMDR International Association of Therapists, and EMDR is a great way to help people walk through their trauma, to heal from their trauma, whether it be from childhood to present day or even combat related. Hey, it's even VA approved type of therapy for those who are undergoing trauma. And so I'm able to utilize that as well as couples, collaborative therapy, emotionally focused therapy, uh, solution focused, brief therapy, and even Bowenian family systems therapy. So I've been trained in a bunch of different modalities to help as an asset, value added asset to my command, to help those who are in, in need, to help them walk through their issues and their problems. They could be in turmoil, they can be in trauma, they can be in so much internal suffering and I'm able as a licensed therapist, but also an army chaplain, to help them through those things to hopefully find health and healing and deliverance and wholeness in their lives. So I am a value added asset to my command. Now chaplains, if you are watching this and you are the rank of captain or captain promotable, and it's time for you to apply for the ACS program, the advanced civil schooling program, I encourage you to do so and ask for the Family Life Chaplain Program because it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile for others, but also for myself. Once I retire from the Army, which may be in a few years, I can apply in the civilian sector to be a therapist in private practice, or I could go for a counseling center, or I can work in a hospital, or even the VA. And I can use those tools to help others find health and healing and wholeness in their lives. And I think that's from God. And I encourage you, chaplains, to seek out that ministry. It's free chicken that the Army offers you. So I encourage you to seek out that type of ministry and you will not regret it. I thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I hope it's been of value to you. And please share this video to all those that you may know but are interested in the Army, Army chaplaincy, and the ins and outs of all different things about the Army chaplaincy. So. I pray that God will bless you richly for you and your family and all that you minister to.